the midwinter blight is out if you've noticed on your map when you open up diablo 4 all around kilvashad we have a purple hell tide well this is how you do things in the purple hell tide now once you get into kilvashad you're going to be wanting to head to your west here just slightly if you played season one you know exactly where this is at you're going to find the midwinter ward ward here uh this thing it will start out not looking like this you got to do upgrades at the collection table here um as you can see you're going to need blighted fragments you're going to need lost heirlooms and you're also going to need red cloak trophies um you trade these in for these midwinter proofs which you use these midwinter proofs to purchase items in the shop all of these are mostly well most of these items are just glam items pretty much um there are some things down here at the bottom i'll move my camera so you guys can actually see all this but as you can see there is an aspect here that eh, i mean other aspects are better this is something fun to play with though if you just happen to want to try it out um there's also midwinter spoils this will give you gem fragments random stuff potential dose of gillian's brew Gillian's Brew, on the other hand, is actually amazing. This thing gives you 15% max life and lucky hit chance and experience. 15% to all that, that's pretty solid for one bell. Or one, uh, what are these called? Midwinter Proofs. So, those are all the things you can buy here. As far as time spent to gather these things, uh, we just played four hours and I got a little bit over two of these. So roughly it took me about two hours or four hours to get a hundred and that's playing very casual. This build isn't like the fastest clearing build. It's also not the slowest, but you know, it, it's a, it's a casual kind of thing to do. Uh, if you're running around outside Kilvishad, you can get this done pretty quickly. It's not going to take you too long. If you have a character to level up, it'll be even better because the 15% bonus to XP while you're doing something else, it's kind of a win-win there. Overall, I think that uh, Blizzard did better with this than they did with Abattoir of Zir. I mean, it's two separate portions of content here, right? Abattoir of Zir is just kind of a high-end, one-shot city kind of thing. Versus this is more of a casual, just kind of relax, do it at your own pace. You have plenty of time. This won't go away until, I think, what, January 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, around that time. So you have plenty, plenty of time to get this done. No, no rush, which is that's a good thing. Now, I wanted to show a little bit of what the new event looks like. This event is what causes the Red Cloaked Horror, the new kind of special enemy that you run into, the, the Santa Claus looking goat man. Well, this is exactly what the event is. You're gonna run around destroying these little like pillars or kind of, these are all scattered throughout the map. But for this event in particular, there's five of these. Um, now all around the map, when you blow these up, that could be a goblin, an enemy, a group of enemies, things like that. But for this, it's just for the Red Cloak Tour. So he pops out, you kill him. He's not really a hard fight. Uh, our, our build doesn't really do a ton of damage in the first place, but he's not really a hard fight at all. Uh, kill him, you get some of the currency to spend to get yourself some of the, the new goodies, and that's really the quickest way to do things. Find this event and do it over and over again. And over again. What, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like Midwinter Blight? Do you like Abattoir of Zir? Do you hate Abattoir of Zir? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, guys. Hope this helped you out a little bit on what to do, how to do, all that jazz. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.